ko sila ang ginhawang madarama nila sa kanilang puso. Ang ginhawang mula sa katotohanan dahil sa kanila ay nasasagip mula sa kamatayan marami. Sa pagsasakripisyo nila ng panahon at pagkakataon na makapiling, mayakap at mapangalagaan ng kanilang pamilya para makapaglingkod sa lipunan at sa mga biktima ng COVID-19, pagkalooban mo po sila ng biyaya ng pangangalaga sa kanilang mga mahal sa buhay laban sa virus na kanila rin nilalabanan para sa iba. Sa hindi marapat at hindi makatarungang diskriminasyon na nararanasan ng marami sa kanila, pagkalooban mo po sila ng biyaya ng pangunawa sa kahinaan at kamalian ng iba at ng biyaya ng tibay ng loob na patuloy na maglingkod sa kabila nito at iba pang pagsubok. At sa marami sa kanila na nagpulis ng buhay dahil sa pakikipaglaban sa COVID-19 pandemic, kukupin mo po sila sa iyong kaharian at pawiin ang lungkot at pangungulila ng kanilang mga pamilya at kaibigan. Panginoong Diyos, basbasan mo ang mga COVID-19 frontliners upang hindi lamang sila patuloy na manguna sa amin sa pagsubok na ito kung hindi patuloy rin silang maging kawaran namin sa pagiging bayani para sa iba at sa aming bayan. Gawaran mo po, Panginoong Diyos, ng iyong nabathalang pagpapala ang mga anak mong COVID-19 frontliners dahil sila ay tunay na daluyan ng iyong pagkalinga at pagmamahal sa amin. Amen. Let's all stand for our... Please remain standing for the National Anthem. Check. Please call the roll and determine if there is a quorum. For our members present in the Zoom and plenary. Uh, we have Chairman Franz Alvarez. Senior Vice Chairman Abraham Tolentino, Vice Chair Jose Tejada, Vice Chair My Faustino Michael D, Vice Chair Jose Antonio Alvarado, um, Representative Cyril Abueg Saldivar, Representative Dale Malapitan, Representative Eric Martinez, Alfredo Vargas, Divine Grace Yu, Julian Bar Baronda, Anthony Peter Crisologo, Luis Ferrer de Fort, John Marvin Nieto, Samantha Louis Alfonso, Rolando Valeriano, Sol Aragones, Eliandro Jesus Madrona, Frederick Shaw, Gil Acosta, Precious Castello, Eliza Shinatan, Christian Unabia, Raymond Mendoza, Yeda Romualdez, Eric Yap, Edward Maceda, Enrico Pineda, Dulce Ann Hofer, Kong Sharon Garin, Stella Kimbo. For ex officio, we have a Deputy Speaker Paulo Duterte, Deputy Speaker uh, Ferdinand Hernandez, uh, Deputy Speaker Conrado Estrella, Deputy Speaker Pichai. Deputy Speaker Puno, Deputy Speaker Gonzalez, Deputy Speaker Pimentel, Deputy Speaker Luis Villafuerte, 
Deputy Speaker Aneo Abu, Deputy Speaker Dan Fernandez, Deputy Speaker Henry Uominal, Deputy Speaker Pablo Jan Garcia, Deputy Speaker Diogracias Divis Avellano, Deputy Speaker Vilma Santos Recto, Deputy Speaker Mujib Hataman, and Majority Leader Ferdinand Martin Romualdez, Deputy Majority Leader Juan Miguel Macabagal Arroyo, Senior Majority Leader Jesus Re Crispin Remulia, Deputy Ma Majority Leader Lindia Bolilia, Deputy Majority Leader Crystal Bagaching, Deputy Majority Leader Juan Pablo Bondoc, Deputy Majority Leader Christopher de Venecia, Deputy Majority Majority Leader Bernadette Herrera D, Deputy Majority Leader Sub X J Romualdo, uh, Deputy Majority Leader Wilter Palma II, Deputy Majority Leader Maria Teresa Colantes, Deputy Majority Leader Ria Cristina Farinas, Deputy Majority Leader Camille Villar, Deputy Minority Leader Carlos Isagani Sarate, Deputy My Minority Leader Shari Antan, Deputy Minority Leader Joseph Stephen Paduano, Deputy Minority Leader Bayani Fernando, Major Minority Leader Bienvenido Avante. Um, other members present in the plenary, we have Honorable Janet Garin, Honorable Rodante Marcoleta, Michael Defensor, Eric Goyap, Abraham Talentino, Elpidio El Barzaga, um, Claudine Bautista, Francisco Datol, and Honorable Franz Castro. Uh, in the Zoom, we have Representative Goliath, Representative Inodi, and Lito Achenza. Representative Lito Achenza is not a CLF member. Also present in the Zoom is Vice Chair Tony Pet Albano. Maybe also <laughs> calling is uh, Representative Bordado via Zoom. Also present via Zoom is Representative Ian Paul D. and Representative West Gachalian. Also Deputy Speaker Henry Owominal is present. Representative Stella Kimbo is also present. For deputized members, we have, I think I don't mention the deputized members, we have Honorable Mike Defensor, Congressman Matugas, Congressman Alan T, Congressman Jundatol, Congressman Barzaga, Congressman Sandra Gonzalez, Congressman Calixto, and Congressman Fidel Nograles. Hearing suspended for a few minutes para po matotal lang po ng ating secretariat yung attendance.
session resume. Hearing resume. Come sec. Okay, announce for attendance, Nathan. We have 85 members present, 46 regular members, and 39 ex officio members. We only need, uh, we, we have quorum. Thank you, Comsec. In yesterday's hearing, we created a technical working group to pursuant to Section 10 of the committee's internal rules to discuss the findings and to recommend a decision of the committee on legislative franchises on the franchise application of ABS-CBN Corporation. The members of the committee were Honorable Deputy Speaker P.J. Garcia, X. J. Congressman X.J. Romaldo, and Congresswoman Stella Luz Kimbo. May we call on uh, Deputy Speaker P.J. Garcia to make a report on, of the committee of the TWG. Okay, Mr. Chair. And please proceed, Pa. Yes, uh, I would just like to make a short manifestation on the process undertaken by the technical working group consisting of uh, Congresswoman Stella Kimbo, Congressman X. Jerome Waldo, and myself in coming up with its report and recommendation. This is just short because yesterday we witnessed a thorough, comprehensive summation of the arguments on both sides of the question of whether ABS-CBN deserves another grant of the high constitutional privilege of a legislative franchise to operate. It was the culmination of a series of long hearings at which these questions were raised, answered, and debated. So the task of this TWG was to determine initially the likely consensus among members of the whole Committee on Legislative Franchises and to prepare a report and recommendation for this committee's consideration. In a process that involved intense debates among members of the TWG on all issues, as well as the ultimate recommendation, the TWG determined that the likely consensus among members of this committee was to disapprove the application of ABS-CBN for another franchise. The TWG then proceeded with the invaluable assistance of the committee secretariat to complete a report on the reasons for the disapproval of the application. All members, I understand, have been furnished copies of this report and recommendation and have had sufficient time to study this report and recommendation. Today, this committee will test whether the TWG's determination of the consensus was correct when it votes on this TWG report and its accompanying resolution. If it is approved by the majority of the voting members of this committee, then it becomes a record of this committee's, as well as this House's, full and final action on the application. If it is disapproved by the majority, then it becomes the minority report to what presumably would be a committee report on the various bills for the grant of the application for the consideration of the whole house. I thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Chairman, and I thank all the members of this committee as well as the leadership of the house. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Speaker Garcia. Mr. Chairman. Gong Mike. Mr. Chairman, first and foremost, let me congratulate you as chairman of this committee, the Legislative Franchise Committee. Let me congratulate our Deputy Speaker, Pablo Jan Garcia, Congressman Xavier Jesus Romualdo, and from the minority, Congresswoman Sterilus A. Kimbo. This is a very excellent report, uh, Mr. Chairman. I've read it thoroughly. I therefore move to adopt the committee resolution. Uh, there is a motion to adopt. Mr. Chairman. Congressman Zarate. Uh, before we <clears throat> uh, act on the motion to approve the uh, technical working group, may I just raise uh, some parliamentary inquiry as to the process of how this uh, report came about. Uh, 
Well, the Deputy Speaker Garcia said they, were, they went through a process, no? And he mentioned that uh, uh, kinuha nila yung consensus ng members. Uh, may just be clarified how was this done because uh, there are also, like us, uh, we are ex official members. Uh, we did not uh, have this opportunity to be consulted by the technical working group, especially that we are also authors of uh, uh, the franchise, no? renewal of the franchise, Mr. Chair. Because uh, Nabanggit na ito, na ito kah kahapon ng chair, no? we did more than 100 hours of hearing, voluminous records, contentious issues, and uh, I think uh, it behooves upon this committee to be informed uh, how exhaustive the discussion was to come up with this 40-page uh, report by the technical working group, Mr. Chair. Uh, Deputy Speaker Pablo Garcia, would you care to respond to the question of uh, Congressman Zarate? Yes, Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, rather. The consensus uh, was determined by the technical working group by consulting uh, some of the members. And although not uh, all members were consulted because, uh, you know, the inclinations of uh, a lot of the members could already be determined uh, from the conduct, from their conduct during the hearings, the questions they raised, and the points that they argued. Also, uh, this uh, consensus was uh, arrived at after consultation with uh, leaders of uh, blocks uh, in the House. Uh, and uh, anyway, uh, Mr. Chairman, this vote uh, that the committee is about to take will determine whether the TWG, uh, in a TWG's initial determination of the consensus is correct or not. You know, we are not shutting out anybody here because uh, the members, all members, uh, can still vote on whether to accept or to reject this uh, TWG report and recommendation. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Congressman. Barsaga. Siguro, Mr. Chairman, alam naman natin na itong committee hearing natin tungkol sa prangkisa ng ABS-CBN ay naiiba sa mga committee hearing na ginaganap natin. This is a well-publicized hearing na lalaman at nakikinig at sumusubaybay hindi lamang ang ating mga kapwa kinatawan whether members or not members of the Franchise Committee, pati na ang taong bayan. At sa aking pananaw, siguro naman sasabihin ng mga kasapi ng Technical Working Group na kahit na maraming issues, I am absolutely certain that like the ordinary people, they are carefully watching kung ano ang mga proceedings natin. At sa tingin ko, alam nila kung paano ang gagawin sa kanilang technical working group, pati na ang kanilang report. Maraming salamat, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair, Kong Mike. Mr. Chairman, nais ko lang pong idagdag, kasi po dito po sa committee report, uh, dito po ang tatlong tao na nakapirma, si Deputy Speaker Garcia, ang tumatayong tagapamahala ng technical committee. At para po sa majority, si Congressman X.J. Romualdo. Sa minority po, ang nakapayrama ay si Congresswoman Stella Kimbo. In fact, she voted against the committee report. Ang nais ko lang po sabihin, Mr. Chairman, sa party po ng majority, yun po ang responsibilidad ng mayorya. Sa minority, of which the Honorable Abante is our minority floor leader, which includes the Honorable Sorate, sila po ang dapat mag-usap sa minorya kung ano ang kanilang uh, position, kung meron man, Mr. Chairman. But as far as the majority is concerned, and dito po nakapirma ang tatlo at may representasyon ang ating minoria. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh, with that, Comsec, pwede po ba ninyo mabasa yung uh, title ng ating committee resolution? Committee resolution, 
Resolution denying the franchise application of ABS-CBN Corporation to construct, install, establish, operate, and maintain radio and broadcasting stations in the Philippines. There was a motion. Any seconds? Any I objection? Second, objection, uh, objection. Mr. Chair. <coughs> Any objection? objection? Yeah. There is an objection. Given that uh, meron pong objection, uh, we will have to divide the house para po pagbotohan natin. Uh, we have 85... Mr. Chairman, point of clarification, ah, Mr. Chair. Uh, kung uh, Alvarado. Mr. Chairman, maaari po bang malaman namin kung ilang boto ang kinakailangan para po pumasa ang uh, committee resolution? Based po sa 85 na committee members at ex officio members na present, uh, ang kailangan natin para ang kailangan po para manalo is 43 majority po. 50% plus 1 po. Aba. Maraming salamat Mr. Chair. Thank you. So ngayon po uh, nais nice po nating i-remind ano, uh, we would like to remind the members na pagdating po sa vote, voting natin uh, that a yes vote means that a member supports the adoption of the committee resolution. Hence, a denial of the franchise application of ABS-CBN Corporation. A no vote means that a member opposes the adoption of the committee resolution and hence favors the granting of the franchise application of ABS-CBN Corporation. Mr. Chair. Kong Jonathan. Uh, tama po ba na mga miyembro at uh, ex-officio members lamang ang maaring bumoto sa House, uh, sa House resolution po na pagbobotohan natin ngayong tanghaling ito? Tama po, that is correct. Mr. Chair, uh, kung tama po yun, ang ibig sabihin po, ang pagbobotohan natin dito ay hindi yung pagbibigay ng... Uh, ang pinagbobotohan po dito ay kung umaayon ka ba sa committee resolution o hindi. Ang committee resolution, uh, Mr. Chair, ay nagsasaad na hindi dapat bigyan ng prangkisa ang ABS-CBN. Kung sa gayon, Mr. Chairman, para po sa kaalaman ng ating uh, mga kasamang members at ex officio members na boboto po ngayong uh, hapong ito, kung po kayo ay mag -ye yes ang ibig sabihin po ng yes na boto po ninyo ay sumasangayon kayo sa committee resolution na huwag bigyan ng prangkisa ang ABS-CBN. Kung naman po tayo o isa sa atin ay boboto ng no, ang ibig sabihin po ay tumataliwas tayo sa committee resolution, hindi tayo umaayon sa committee resolution at nais po ng membro na bigyan ng prangkisa ang ABS-CBN. Tama po ba yun, Mr. Chairman? Tama, Kong Jonathan, at maraming maraming salamat sa napakalinaw na pag-explain. Uh, maraming salamat, uh, Idol Chairman Chikoy Alvarez. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chair. Kong Abante. Pag ibig sabihin, yung uh, pagtanggap ng resolution na yan, hindi yung do you accept the resolution as filed or uh, written. No? Therefore, kasama na rito yung pagboto mo if you are for the franchise or against the franchise. That's correct. So therefore, Mr. Chairman, pag ang boto po ay no, uulitin ko po ha, pag ang boto po ay no, ibig sabihin that you do not want ABS-CBN to continue. Baliktad po. If you vote no, you are in favor of ABS-CBN to continue. So, ganito. Kung pabor po ako na magpatuloy ang ABS-CBN, no dapat ang boto ko. Tama po. Kung ayaw ko nang magpatuloy pa ang ABS-CBN, yes, dapat ang boto ko. Tama okay. po. Salamat po. Salamat po. Thank you, Kong Abante. Ngayon po, uh, punta na po tayo sa votation. All those in favor of the adoption of the committee resolution denying the franchise application of ABS-CBN Corporation, please ask to be counted. Uh, Ilinawin ko lang po, uh, marami tayong manners, ano, hybrid tayo ngayon, manners ang votation. Pwede pong text, pwedeng Viber, email, at uh, physically present po. Uh, the committee secretary is hereby directed to count the votes and record the same. Mr. Chair. Kung 
Kung with the ongoing po yung pagbibilang po nating committee secretary. Itawagon ba isa, isa Binibilang po muna yung sa Zoom, isa-isa po natin, and then yung physically present, and then yung nasa nag-text po.
hearing resumed. All those who are against the adoption of the committee resolution denying the franchise application of ABS-CBN Corporation, please ask to be counted. The committee secretary is hereby directed to count the votes and record the same. Yung nasa dito po sa plenary, pwede po taas po ng kamay yung uh, Kong Zarate and Kong uh, Abante. Kong Zarate po. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'm formally registering my uh, negative vote to the resolution uh, on the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Noted po, Kong Abante. Kong, uh, uh, Kong Zarate, Kong Abante. Ganon din po ako, I register my negative vote on the resolution. Noted po. So ngayon po, uh, bibigyan po natin ulit ng time ng Secretary at nabilangin po yung no votes naman sa Zoom and sa text and sa email and sa lahat pang ibang platforms.
Next po natin, all those who abstain from voting, please ask to be counted. The committee secretary is hereby directed to count the votes and record the same. With the kind indulgence of our members, we will allow the Secretary to consolidate the votes from various platforms and report the result to the Chair. Hearing is suspended for a few minutes.
hearing resumed. Andito na po yung ano, report ng ating secretariat. Uh, linawin ko lang po, 85 members ang present, 44 po pala yung majority na kailangan. So, ang nag-yes, 70. Ang nag-no, 11. Dalawang yung nag-inhibit, isang nag-abstain. Ayun, yun ang total. So, 70 ang yes, 11 ang no, dalawa nag-inhibit, isang nag-abstain. The resolution to deny ABS-CBN's franchise application is hereby adopted. Pursuant to Section 49 of the Rules of the House of Representatives, all House bills and House resolutions re relative to the grant or renewal of the franchise application of ABS-CBN Corporation are hereby laid on the table. The Committee Secretary is hereby to directed to inform all the authors of the bills and resolutions of the decision of the Committee in writing. And as far as pra practicable, though electronic mail within five days stating the reasons therefore. Mr. Chair, <laughs> Mr. Ch Mr. Uh, Chair, Kong Jonathan, point of clarification lang po. Ano po ba ang ibig sabihin ng uh, laid on the table, Mr. Chair? One sec. One sec. Um, Mr. Secretary. Um, para sir na, ano na siya, kill. Maraming salamat, uh, Mr. Chair. Ibig sabihin po, itong uh, uh, usapin patungkol sa pagre-renew ng uh, application ng ABS-CBN ay hindi lang po isinantabi. Ito po ay tinapos na ngayong araw na ito, Mr. Chair. Tama po ba? That is correct. Kong Defensor. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, in parliamentary courtesy, when a bill is being approved, uh, we don't necessarily vote no because uh, we just lay it on the table just to make it stay in the committee. But technically, Mr. Chair, for a franchise application, the effect would be to kill the application of the franchise. But it is still in our rules laid on the table. And Mr. Chair, as this, as this is a historic moment for the House of Representatives and, of course, for the Filipino nation, I move that all members, Mr. Chair, who voted for the adoption of the committee resolution be made as co-authors. I so move, Mr. Chair. There is a motion to include all members of the committee who voted for the adoption of the committee resolution denying the franchise application of ABS-CBN Corporation. Any second? I second, Mr. Chair. Is there any objection? Ah, who voted? Not present. I'm sorry. Uh, I withdraw my objection. Without any objections, motion is approved. Mr. Chair, I move that the committee adopt the other findings and recommendations contained in the technical working group report. Mr. Chair. There is a motion to adopt the other findings and recommendations contained in the TWG report. Any second? Second, Mr. Chair. Is there any objection? Hearing none, motion is approved. Mr. Chair. Kong Defensor. For purposes of uh, transparency, I move that we authorize the Chairman of the Committee on Legislative Franchises to release the TWG report and the adopted committee resolution to the public and other committees of the House. I so move, Mr. Chair. There is a motion. Any second? second. I second, Mr. Chair. Any objections? Hearing none, motion is approved. Mr. Chair, mukha pong uh, tapos na ang usapin ngayong araw na ito. Mr. Chair, I move to adjourn. Mr. Chair? Mr. Chair, let me, uh, before I second the motion, let me just congratulate you. Also, those who voted no, the members of the minority are all here, those who have worked in the, uh, for the 11 hearings, the 12 hearings, Mr. Chair. Let me congratulate you, Mr. Chairman, again, and the TWG group. I second the motion, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, before we adjourn, yes. Uh, I just want to be clarified if this committee report will still be... I just want to be clarified if this committee report will still be uh, presented to the plenary. Not anymore. Hindi na po. This is it, no? Mm. Okay. Mr. Chair. Kongarin. Mr. Chair, we, have, we are in receipt of some text from fellow members from the minority who would like to insert explanation of their vote. Yes, pwede po submit na lang po sa committee. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. As there are no other matters to discuss, and there's a motion to adjourn, duly seconded.
Hearing is adjourned.